Hi all, uh, this is Aditya here from JS of Tech. Now, in this session, we are discussing about the first project. So, we are doing the first project that is database table creation without domain and data element. Normally, in the real time, we will never create a table without domain and data element. But to understand the logic of what's happening in the database table is what we are doing right now. And uh, let us let us create a database table so that we can understand the concept of database table clearly. We will go into SC11 as discussed in the theory part. We will have this seven data dictionary objects and we are going to create a database, data, database table called EMP001 and then click on create an employee data. I am giving the description and here delivery class we are giving it as A because in this A is of type master and transaction data. And customizing data is something which if you do some configuration settings or some changes uh, automatically that gets uh, you know loaded into C and different type of delivery classes are used for different type of uh, operations but most of the times we will be using only A application table master and transaction data. Now here we will have three options. Uh, we can we can have display and maintenance not allowed, display and maintenance allowed, display and maintenance allowed with restrictions. Display and maintenance not allowed means neither you can update the data, you can neither update the data nor can you you can see the data. Now, if you say display and maintenance allowed with restrictions, you can view the data, but you cannot update the data as we did in the last. So, if you select that as display and maintenance allowed, we can directly update the data at the database table level. So here we are selecting display and maintenance allowed and in the fields as I discussed in the theory part MANDT is the, is the client name. If you give the first field as MANDT you will have the data classified based on the client. It means if you have data uh, in, in three different clients on the same server each, each client can have a different type of data each client can have different type of data each client can have different type of data so in this we have employee number now uh, we are not giving any data element so predefined in the predefined character 10 employee number EMPNA character 20 employee name department character 8 department now once this is done save in the local object and in this technical settings and in this data class is APPL 0 and this 0 so save it and then back and once this has been done we have to go for utilities yeah so technical settings we have done APPL 0 and 0 and then we need to activate this particular table so once this table is successfully activated the warnings we can uh, eradicate by giving an enhancement category that we will do later in the next project so here uh, we have done this and then utilities table contents and create entries in this we are going for you know 15 employee numbers 15 john sap save and then reset 16 hurry department is erp save reset 17 ram bi safe so we have created three fields three uh, three uh, records now so now we have to go for display you can either go for display like this or you can click on this button and then you can just see how many number of entries are there three entries are there if you execute you will be able to see the data so this is how we create a database table but in the real time when we are doing it we will make sure that we create domain and data element assign the properties here so domain and data element are basically created only for assigning the properties. 
so we create some properties at the domain and data element level and then assign them at the database level this is what we do